Alright, welcome to part three of Rocket to Insanity. Hiccups punch Hiccups punch sound through heavy sobs as the Pegasus pony clutched out on her head. The visions of her nightmares had been nervous being upon her ingrained within her memory. Every horrible detail, from the fiery pain of rendered flesh, the sickening sound of innards being torn and ripped from her underbelly, was the cast in vivid uh, uh, description. I can't say that. <clears throat> she whined as she lay curled tightly upon the floor, blankets. Uh, Sniffling as uh, just. We need to get you some cereal and get that eaten, and then we gotta get on your computer. Okay. Yay! Fun, fun, fun. Not. So go get you some cereal, okay? Mm, I will in a minute. Alright, sorry guys. Sniffling as tears gushed from her eyes. Just leave me alone. Why don't you just leave me alone? She hiccuped, walking back and forth. I don't deserve this. Just stay out. Stay out of my head, please. Just, just get out of my, get out of my head, please. Just get out of my head. Here's suggestion. Go get your cereal. Get your breakfast. It will in a minute. It better be in a minute. She, hic she hiccuped, rocking back and forth. Uh, uh, Fear turned to anger, dash beating her hooves against her temples. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. She weeped openly now. Grinding her forehead against the floor of her room, hooves pounding and pounding at her head, bruising the flesh, as pent up frustration and sleep deprivation, deprivation erupted in an agonizing scream of rage and sorrow. Another night, another crack in the window. Okay, guys, that's where I'm gonna leave off. Goodbye, my wolfies.